afternoon. Hi, everyone. Um, and so that, just as a quick heads up, we, we do have a one parallel session and that, that's going to start um, in a second while, while, while we do this overview session. And so uh, in the breakout rooms, uh, we'll have uh, Tao and an HPC toolkit um, give, providing overviews of their tools as well. And, and so if, um, if you're an experienced ALCF user or you, you specifically have, have um, needs for, for profiling, I, I do encourage you to, to step over into those breakout rooms. Um, all of the slides for, for this, the, 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 this overview session as with all the other sessions will be available um, in the slides channel and online. Um, and so for very quickly to, to, go, uh, to follow on with what Yazi had described as just an overview of the workshop. Um, so th this is one of our annual workshops that the, the ALCF puts on. And really here that the emphasis throughout it is, is the uh, achieving computational readiness on the ALCF resources. And, and uh, you know, for, for all elements of your workflow, uh, simulation components, data learning components, post-processing, so to really, you know, to hit the ground running on the ALCF machines, to, to run your workloads at scale on the system and, and generate the data that's needed to, for, for successful proposals and, and to complete your science, of course. Um, because the projects have grown in complexity over the years, uh, we, we do cover a, a diverse range of topics. And, and again, through, for all of these topics, there, there's is uh, em, you know, emphasis on, on how to boost uh, application performance. Uh, you know, we, we, we will cover current and future ALCF resources, you know, what the work you can do today and thinking about the work that you can do tomorrow, uh, covering programming models, frameworks, workflows, and tools. And so a, a wide range of topics. Um, we, we will present this material as a mix. Uh, some some uh, slides will be presented. Um, you know, in many cases, we'll, we'll do hands-on examples. Uh, slides, uh, we will put them in, in the Slack channel as soon as we can, but they will be, along with videos, available on the Agenda website after the workshop. And, and I think that's important is that uh, you, know, you, you should feel free to, to work on the, the problems that are of interest to you and to, to work with ALCF staff on, on any issues that you come across so you can you know, enable your workflow on the systems. Um, and so, it, you know, it may be that you, you miss, you know, one or more topics, but, but don't be, a, you know, don't be afraid that you, you will have access to that content afterwards. Um, maybe if, if you're just listening to the talk in the background while working on your, your, your project and your science. Um, for this particular workshop, we, we do have a GitHub repo where, where many of, of, of our speakers and, and the staff have, have provided content. Um, and and they, they'll speak to that during the, ha the appropriate hands-on sections. Um, and just, just as a reminder, I mean, I think we, we've been doing virtual events for, for the better part of a year now. It, it's important to take breaks. It's important to get up and stretch a bit. We, 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 do, we did build in breaks and, and lunch breaks throughout the workshop, but, but please, you know, you know, take breaks as needed. Um, you know, get up and, and walk around while, while listening to the, content, the material. Um, I, I can't stress this enough uh, that, that, you know, we, we have a lot of, of staff and personnel and, uh, you know, here to participate and to help out, um, you know, the, the, a lot of the ALCF facility across the teams, uh, vendors, we have folks from in, Intel and NVIDIA, uh, the tools, I've already mentioned HPC Toolkit and Tao uh, with the, the breakouts going on right now. And so please, I, I do encourage you to, to reach out, ask questions in Slack. You know, I, I encourage you to start your discussions early, you know, don't, uh, wait until, you know, if, if there's a topic of interest and it's scheduled for the last day of the workshop, please don't wait till then to, to ask your question. You know, start those conversations early with, with the staff that's available to help. Um, you know, again, you know, one of the a key outcome for, for many projects is, is preparing proposals for, for larger allocations on the ALCF systems. And then and, and time is primarily awarded through the, the programs that are listed here for Insight, ALCC, ADSP, and DD. Uh, there will be a session later for, uh, discussing the allocation programs in more detail. Um, but in particular, a number of folks may be uh, thinking about the, the next insight call, and that's the one that is currently open now. Um, and so folks who are, are for that call are, are preparing for proposals targeting Theta, uh, a system that will be coming online soon, Polaris, which we'll hear more about at this workshop, and the exascale system, Aurora. And using the time and the resources and the reservation and, and the, the staff to here to help prepare you know, your, your applications for the, the, this trajectory of resources at ALCF. Um, in, in thinking about the future, you know, the, many teams you know, have this question about how to prepare their codes for a machine like Aurora. 
uh, as with any of the other exascale machines. And so I, I won't speak too much to this slide, except to say that you know, some of the, the topics that we were presenting and discussing at this workshop are motivated by how, how to help teams prepare for, for the future resources. And, and one uh, question that, that comes up is certainly, you know, the choice of programming model. Um, and so we, you know, the, the staff is here and we can, we can offer assistance and guidance and help brainstorm on, on questions like this. Um, and then again, this will be discussed in more detail throughout the workshop. Um, and so uh, lastly, before we kick, in, kick off into the main content, um, we, we have a lot of documentation on the website for all of the machines. Uh, the, the documentation for Theta GPU is growing as, as it's a relatively new machine. Um, and where, where possible, we will provide links to the website documentation to provide you more information for you, for you if, if you have specific questions. Uh, for the remainder of this overview session, uh, a, a lightweight start to kick off the workshop, uh, we'll, we'll first do a, a quick session on getting started on Theta, uh, you know, co covering the basics of the Theta resource and logging in and, and, and submitting jobs, compiling, submitting jobs. Uh, we'll, we'll then do a similar quick getting started on Theta GPU. Uh, again, th th these are meant to be sort of quick overviews and, and we'll provide you know, much more details and, and pointers to the web documentation. Um, and again, slides are available for, for reference. And, and then we'll, we'll spend the, the remainder of the time, you know, hopefully getting as many folks, as particularly those with, that are new users, uh, logged onto the system and, and just going through the steps of compiling simple codes, testing uh, the submission of jobs and make sure just a lot of the, the nuts, the, the, the easy things are in place for you to, to make progress during the hands-on uh, throughout the day. Um, and again, you know, I, 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 strong, I can't, you know, stress this enough, you know, please, please do ask questions in Slack if you run into issues. Not only do we have many folks from the staff um, in the Slack space to, to help with answering your questions, but, you know, th this is also an opportunity for more experienced users to, to help out. And so please, if, if you have a question, you know, please don't hesitate to ask.